What is going on everybody? Welcome to this video. I am extremely excited guys because I am finally gonna be doing a cut, but I'm not going on a prep. So what this means is my goal with this cut is to get shredded over the next few months. I wanna get super peeled right now. My starting weight was about 207 pounds and that was a few days ago. And that was right when I got back from my vacation. If you didn't know, I went to Jamaica. I posted all over my stories. When I got home, I was about 207. Now if I'm kind of dropping some vacation bloat, I'm probably like 204 and a half, 205. So this is kind of where the cut is starting. I would say 205 pounds. Tomorrow I'm going to show you guys a grocery haul on some of the foods that I'm going to be using to start my cut. Now I am going to be tracking my macros because of the fact that I've been tracking my macros for years in the past. And on top of that, I know what foods I need around my workouts. I know what foods I should and shouldn't use around my workout. I kind of have a good idea of where I like to place certain foods in the day for me that work best. It gives me more freedom if I track my macros rather than uh, giving myself a cut custom diet plan. Now, custom diet plan is great for people and I put a lot of my clients on that for uh, individuals who want to make sure that they're getting the optimal amount of micronutrients, macronutrients, potassium, you know, fiber, all those things and they don't really know what foods they should eat to get those certain things. So if you're not as sure, then, you know, diet plan is good. But for me, yeah, like I said, I have a pretty good understanding of food, what my body needs throughout the day. So I just kind of like to track the macros so that I can have that freedom. Now, with that being said, I do eat similarly while I'm tracking um, because I'm, I'm really actually serious about the cut. I'm going to be taking you guys through a little cutting series, I guess you could call it. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm doing to drop the weight and get shredded. Obviously, I'm actually in the best shape I've ever been in for, you know, not being on a cut or not being, you know, on a prep, whatever. This is the best shape I've been in. Uh, let me show you guys. As you guys can see, I'm in pretty decent shape, but I want to get peeled and I want to maintain that. What I will say is the macros I'm going to show you, the things I'm showing you are for me specifically. So you're going to need your own if you're trying to cut, but it's that time of year. If you guys also are interested, you guys can always DM me on Instagram if you're interested in coaching because that is what I do. We are going to get into right here exactly how I'm going about this cut and I'm going to show you guys on the computer what I have written down for myself because that is going to give you a better understanding. I wrote it all down, kind of how I would for a client, but also not as much information because I know what I'm writing for myself. Before we even get into the computer stuff, really quick, uh, I wanna say for this cut, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm utilizing basically high and low days. So I'm doing kind of carb cycling. I have three separate days, okay? So I have a day of eating, certain macros and calories for when I'm biking and training in the same day. I have calories for from just training and doing regular in the gym cardio. And then I have um, another day of calories when it's an off day, when I just do no cardio or you know I do light cardio, like a little hike or a little bit of treadmill, something like Stairmaster or elliptical, like for just 15, 20 minutes to get moving. But it's basically an off day. I have three different days because let's just say if I'm going on a bike ride and hitting legs in the same day, I can't eat the same calories as if I was on an off day because of the fact that, you know, my body's going to need more when I'm do doing a super intensive bike ride. So that's why mine will be a little different than most people because I'm utilizing biking in this cut to get peeled. I'm doing three bike rides currently minimum every single week. So three rides, 20 miles every single ride to 60 miles a week plus four times a week 20 minutes on the uh, Stairmaster and so what I'm gonna be doing is slowly increasing the amount of days that I ride my bike from like three and increase that up a little bit and also I'll increase my in the gym cardio as well from 20 to like 25 30 probably cut it at like 30 because I'll be dropping the calories increasing the bike riding so I don't really need to go past that but that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm carb cycling essentially and I'm using the carb cycling diligently and the days I have more energy expenditure I have more carbs carbs, more calories, and the days I don't have as much energy expenditure, I have less calories. So what I'll be doing is increasing my cardio slowly over time. Like I said, how many days a week I'm biking, how many miles I'm biking, how many minutes I'm doing cardio after the gym when I'm not biking, and then also I'll be slowly decreasing the calories. So I'm gonna show you guys right now what calories I'm starting out on. So as you guys can see, it says up here what I just talked about, 20 minutes post-workout four times a week, plus 15 to 20 plus mile ride three times a week. On my two Two off days, I'm gonna be doing bike rides. Now, what my split is gonna be for this cut is legs, push, pull, off, push, pull, off, instead of like legs, push, pull, off, legs, push, pull. Reason I'm doing that is because I find my legs actually respond better to a little bit less volume. And on top of that, it allows me like a day where I can just ride my bike, burn a fuckload of calories, but kind of recoup and recover my muscles. So I'm getting more recovery time. So it's kind of like an active rest day. That is my training split. This is my cardio. So calories. This is for training days with regular cardio training days with regular cardio or off days uh, with a bike ride so if I am training 
am doing cardio 20 minutes in the gym, I'll eat this amount of calories with 68 fat, 382 carb and 232 protein. Now I will increase this fat actually probably a little bit because my body works really well in lower fats, but this is pretty low for me. So on this day and this day, I will probably increase the, uh, the fat. Honestly, on all of the days, I kind of very loosely did this and I've been tracking for a few days and I've been doing higher fat. So don't really look at this fat. I'm going to be doing more like 75 fat, a little less carbs here, and then 232 protein with 3,050 cows. For my training days with a bike ride, it's, it's going to be more like 85 fat, like four 400 carb, 252 protein, and then off days, probably about 300, 280 carb, 70 something fat, 245 protein. So this is how I'm gonna be starting my cut. Tomorrow I'll show you guys a grocery haul on some foods, and you guys can hopefully kind of get a little understanding for this. Now, my calories before I started this cut were probably at like weekly average, I would say about 3,200 or so. That is how I'm going about it. I'm gonna slowly drop calories over time, slowly increase cardio over time, and we're gonna get fucking shredded. I'm gonna show you guys guys, it is really that simple. If you put the work in and you do it and you have the right amount of calories for yourself, you don't drop too low initially, you don't, you know, binge out, use your cheat meals accordingly, then you'll be good. You'll lose your weight. For me, I am going to incorporate cheat meals after about two, three weeks in on the cut and I'll bring you guys through that, how I go about my cheat meals. What do I do with my calories on those days? With that being said, tomorrow we're going to show you guys a grocery haul and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so I just got back from the grocery store right now and I'm going to show you guys every single thing, all the foods that I'm going to be using to track my macros. We talked all about yesterday, what I'm going to be actually doing, how many you know fat, carbs, protein, my macros went over all that good stuff. So now I'm going to show you guys the foods that are going to be making that up. Okay. This is typical. I'll switch out the veggies, the proteins, the miscellaneous is the different things switch in and out, but this is kind of what it looks like majority of the time. So hopefully you guys can get some good food ideas for yourself and learn a little something. I eat a lot differently now than I did when you guys used to see these old grocery hauls of me when I was like in my teens eating like shit all the time so here we go really quickly before i even go into this a lot of this stuff like the fruits the veggies it like i said it's all replaceable so this is just the stuff that i picked up this time and i actually like to cycle the greens the fruits why i do that is because it's actually good for the micro gut biome to be getting many different types of food okay you want to diversify your diet you don't want to eat the same exact thing every day for a year straight because your gut does not have diversity like your micro gut biome will not have all of the necessary uh, prebiotics and probiotics needed to function properly so that's one thing but this is the Stuff that I got. We're gonna start out with fruits. We have dragon fruit right here. This is no, no added sugar, nothing like that. We have kiwi, we have blackberry, which is one of the most fibrous fruits. We have dried pineapple. There's nothing added to that, it's just organic dried pineapple. We got some cold pressed juice, purified water, orange, pineapple, mango, coconut water. We got bananas, we got some plums, and then also just um, while I'm here, we got some more cold pressed juices. I love the suja. Grayson, chill out, dude. For greens, I have Brussels, cucumber, we have basically char, it has a bunch of different stuff, kale, spinach. We got some tomatoes right there. I also have some sweet peppers right here. Like I just talked about, the diversity is very important, okay? If you're trying to go for overall health, circulation, controlling your metabolism, preventing blood sugar spikes, adding greens in with every meal is optimal, but also keeping you know a diverse variety of different greens in your diet. They all offer kind of different vitamins, antioxidants, nutrients, etc. So the more you have in your diet, the better off you're gonna be, honestly. You really almost can't get too many veggies. That is kind of what I'm starting out with on the cut. This is just the meats they kind of had at Costco. So we got organic chicken breast, boneless, skinless, ground bison right here, raised with no antibiotics, no hormones, which pretty much all bison should be. This is not typically the best quality that I would ever want to get. Typically I like, you know, pasture raised, organic, etc. We got the organic ground turkey, 937, free range, vegetarian diet. This is the kind of stuff I like to see. And then over here for protein, we have albacore. So this is just solid white tuna. Now look at the fucking macros, boys. 41 protein per container get on this it is, it's amazing okay we have a huge thing of egg whites see how right here pasteurized that means that now don't quote me on this not your doctor but if it's pasteurized I'm pretty sure that means that it was it was brought up to a heating point where it takes away salmonella so you can drink it I always drink it when it says pasteurized but I might be giving you bad advice okay so carb sources now I have rice ramen noodles organic of course 
We got some Dave's Killer Bread. It has five protein. We got some omegas in here, fiber, whole grain. Looks like some solid stuff. It has a lot of ingredients. I didn't read all of them in depth, but it looks pretty fucking solid overall. We got some, just some, pretty much some regular old like russet potatoes here. So we'll use those. Also, I do do a lot of, I'll do a lot of like microwave organic white rice, but they don't have it at Costco. I get it at Whole Foods and I wasn't at Whole Foods. I use these all the time, guys. These are fucking phenomenal. You can use this while you're at the gym. And basically what it is, is just vitamin C, immune support, zinc, and it's also like a hydration kind of like blend. And essentially, it's just like a very small amount of calories. It's like 50 calories per stick, but it's like a little bit of sugar, um, some electrolytes, uh, some salt, things like that to keep you hydrated. And I think that's all we have. I don't know if I show you guys the bananas, but yeah, this is kind of like what my diet will look like while I'm cutting. And I will eat out here and there. And I'll just, when I'm tracking and I'm eating out, what I'll do is I'll just kind of guesstimate it and I'll over guesstimate it. So if I eat something, I think it's 850 calories, I'll put it in at 750 just because I don't know what they cooked it in, etc. That is going to be the starting diet for this cut. I will be adding like a weekly cheat meal in down the road, but to start, I'm not going to just because my calories are high enough for me. Right now, I'm going to head over to the gym. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a workout for you guys, a little workout edit. And this is going to be kind of a short video, but don't worry. I have some really, really cool video topics coming out. Definitely going to do some full day of eating while I'm on the cut and kind of show you how I'm changing my fat, carbs, and protein. I'm really going to bring you guys through this cut, how I'm doing it, and try to give you guys tips on how you can uh, implement some of this stuff yourselves. I think I'm looking up here at the screen and not at the counter most of the time, so I'm sorry for that. It's kind of nostalgic. I'm going back to a cut, but I'm not on prep right now, so it's exciting. I'm gonna be getting peeled. What are you taking today, my love? I'm gonna take the Pre-HD Ultra because there's fucking caffeine in it. Dylan McCoy. It's horrifying, <laughs> but um. The scoop is nice in the front, on the top. Are we moving to Florida in September? Yes. Are we actually? I don't know.
All right guys, so really quickly, I just want to kind of go over the workout. The reason why you see that I do kind of lower amounts of exercises and I do a lot of sets is because I find that I actually get a, a better feel the more sets I go into a movement, the sets kind of get better. The other thing is um, I like to go from a horizontal pull to a vertical pull, horizontal to vertical or vice versa. Then you're working width and you're working thickness. So don't want to ramble. With that being said, I'm gonna end this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.